The year is 1815, and it's the Battle of Waterloo. Early in the morning of the 18th, we were again put on the march to join our lines, our position being in reserve, which included the 4th and 27th regiments, together with a body of Brunswickers and Dutch, and formed a line between Merkbrain and Mont Saint Jean on the Brussels Road. Our regiment took the left of this road, but did not remain there long, for the French were seen in motion, and on their opening fire from their cannon, we soon marched up to action in open column. During this movement, a shell from the enemy cut our deputy sergeant major in two, and having passed on to take the head of one of my company of grenadiers named William Hooper, exploded in the rear not more than one yard from me, hurling me at least two yards into the air, but fortunately doing me very little injury beyond the shaking and carrying a small piece of skin off the side of my face. It was indeed another narrow escape, for it burnt the tail of my sash completely off and turned the handle of my sword perfectly black. I remember remarking to a sergeant who was standing close by me when I fell. This is sharp work to begin with. I hope it will end better. And even this much had unfortunately so frightened one of the young recruits of my company named Bartram, who had never before been in action and now did not like the curious evolutions of this shell so close to him that he called out to me and said he must fall out of rank as he was taken very ill. I could easily see the cause of his illness, so I pushed him into rank again, saying, Why, Bartram, it's the smell of this little powder that has caused your illness. There's nothing else the matter with you. But that physic would not content with him at all, and he fell down and would not proceed another inch. <laughs> 